Over the past 5 years, Breath of the Wild has been broken apart pretty thoroughly by players with constant discoveries of new glitches. One of the most sought after by far is weapon duplication. With the addition of the weapon durability system that Nintendo implemented that causes weapons to break easily, players have wanted this glitch more than ever, and we've achieved it. But just how many ways are there to do this? Most players think of just menu overloading, the most popular method by far, but there are tons of variations of this and many other strange methods you may not know. So if you want more Breath of the Wild videos from us, let us know by liking this one. Let's start with one method that's not quite as well known, Bone Arm Duplication. By breaking apart a stall enemy and taking their arm just as they pick it up, the game will think that you took the weapon, but you are technically empty-handed. <laughs> so by switching your weapon and taking the arm back, the game thinks that you have the arm equipped, but you have a different one instead, which is called Inventory Desync. Throw the weapon in your hand on the ground, and since it thinks that you threw the bone arm, the duplicate weapon is then created. Shock Trap Duplication was found early in Breath of the Wild's life, and made farming for weapons with specific modifiers much easier. By swinging a shock weapon and dropping it mid-swing on something metallic, its infinite shock effects continually disarm enemies when placed beneath their feet. So by resting at a campfire, the enemy will repeatedly drop the weapon over and over each new day, making a mountain pile of dropped weapons. Menu overloading is one of the most used glitches, with its versatility of duplicating and transferring durability of different weapons, a glitch that is highly sought after. There are a ton of different ways to trigger this, from enemy encampments using multi-shot shock arrows, dropping multi-shot shock arrows yourself, a mixture of the two, dropping two multi-shot shock bows with your back to the wall, and even escaping the final boss fight, then entering and exiting certain areas hundreds of times triggers menu overload. Once overloaded, switching and dropping weapons by throwing, shocking yourself, putting it on a weapon rack, and more lets you duplicate the selected weapon. Octo Balloon Duplication is one of the newer methods of multiplying your weapons. By having your back to a wall, using Magnesis and dropping an Octo Balloon, this causes a balloon to drop directly beneath your feet. Dropping a weapon on this shortly after can give you a chance to pick up the weapon off the balloon twice, duplicating the weapon. Dynamic Object Duplication is a much more simple technique, but slightly more tedious time-wise. Normally when opening a treasure chest, it's a one and done deal, and after taking the goods it never appears again. But by bringing any dynamic object, which includes some treasure chests with equipment in them, two map grid spaces over in any direction, opening it then doesn't actually count as taking it out, so it's possible to continuously grab the same item over and over, albeit with a little bit of walking. The next three methods are based off the same model teleport mechanic, which is a glitch that confuses the game on where Link's position actually is and giving you a split second to desync equipment on you. One way to trigger this is the horse sliding method. Horse sliding is a glitch that lets you launch off your horse in different ways. This method can be triggered by shield jumping on the rear end of a horse while it's slanted on a hill, riding forward a small distance, then jumping off, launching you backwards towards your original position. But doing this as you overspur your horse, jumping off and throwing a weapon at the same time, then switching quickly desyncs your held weapon. Now your thrown weapon pops out, but doesn't leave your inventory because you technically had a different weapon equipped. So it becomes duplicated. The standard model teleport method requires using a horse at a slant, unequipping your shield at a specific moment while Link is tilting sideways, gives you a moment to desync and perform a duplication glitch. Always satisfying to see. Finally, Pulse Skew Duplication is arguably the most difficult duplication technique of all. It consists of getting a specific skew and skew setup to get a reusable skew that flips Link upside down. The combination of damaging yourself with Ragdoll Glitch Engaged confuses the game on where Link's position actually is, and gives you a moment to desync and duplicate the thrown weapon. I've done thousands of glitches over the past several years, but this one was just too tough for me. Oh well. What do you think of these weird methods, and how many of these did you know? Let us know in the comments below, and for everything else gaming, keep it here on GameSpot. <laughs>